Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Adam. Today we are going to cover the topic of how to convert F5 I rules to data scripts on AVI. So most of the I rules can be converted to policies, which is AVI native point and click functionality. However, I rules that can't be converted to policies must be rewritten in AVI data script format, which is similar in logic and function, but based on more modern law language which is 20 years younger and doesn't have so many curly brackets. Uh, Lua uses if-then type of logic. It basically matches for some condition and then takes some action. In this example, if x equals 1, then we'll do something. If x equals 2, then we'll do something else. Lua uses arithmetic, relational, and logical operators like addition, subtraction, equal, not equal, in the following example, if x plus y equals 1 and that not equals 2, then we'll do something. Uh, data script uses, uses additional commands, which call data script functions. Uh, functions are executed by data scripts and grouped into modules like IVVS, IVHTTP, etc. In the following example, we are using IVHTTP get path function which is equals to HTTP request path. So we are putting that value of that function into the path variable. Uh, then we are checking if that variable begins with docs, and if it is, then we'll issue another data script functions, which is IV redirect, which will basically issue a HTTP redirect to another URI. Uh, let's take a look at some examples of F5 I rule and how to convert it to data script. Uh, so basically, we have to understand the I rule logic and then use Lua syntax with data script functions to achieve the same functionality as I rule. So let's look at the logic of this I rule. It's basically a, a HTTP host switching. So based upon host header or the incoming request will uh, assign incoming request to a different pool. So if HTTP host equals site one, we'll send a request to pool one. If host equals to site two, we'll send a request to site two pool. And if for anything else, we'll use a default pool. So we'll use a similar logic to recreate it in the Lua language. Uh, first, we'll use IV HTTP hostname function that will have a value of the incoming host header and assign it to a host variable. Then, if this host variable equals to site1, we'll use IV pool select function that will basically forward the request to site1 pool. So we'll select a pool based upon host header. So if host header equals to site one, then we'll use pool select function that will choose the pool for an incoming request. Else, if uh, host header equals site two, we'll redirect it to site two using the same IVHTTP pool select function. And for anything else, we'll select a default pool. Uh, so again, we have to understand the IRO logic and then use Lua syntax with data script function to the same as similar functionality as an IRO. Thanks for watching. Please check out other exciting videos in our application delivery how to series.